Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So this is just a video for Tesla drivers and it's 20th of uh, January 2021 and this is uh, what's referred to now as a classic Model S, a 2014 Model S and overnight a new software update has become available. So in this video I'm just going to install it and show you what this uh, update brings. So this car's got the version 11 software and it's currently running uh, 2021.44.30.6. So this car got the new version 11 software just before Christmas and it didn't really work that well on these earlier cars. And looking online, what seems to have happened is the MCU1 cars, which have had the MCU2 upgrade, got all of these problems and primarily it was um, the loss of the uh, charge uh, limit adjustment. Three weeks later, it had a little upgrade, which was, um, what, uh, a week and a half ago or so, I think, which brought this back, but it's not the same graphics that was there before, but at least that did get brought back. So I'm hoping this update brings back some other of the um, graphics and things, but anyway, we'll see. So I'm going to let this download. I've just got to work this morning, so it's connected to Wi-Fi and um, we'll see what this one brings. So it's done the upgrade. So let's just have a look now. We are now on 2021.44.30.8. So we've missed out version 7 we've gone straight to version 8 so the main thing is charging and there's absolutely no difference with the charging on this um, so let's just have a look at the release notes and number 8 customizable launcher where we had that before edit waypoints we had sonic the hedgehog we had sudoku we had cold weather improvements we had dark mode was already there map detail was already there profiles at a stop that was already there um so yeah it's absolutely no different to what was there before um so yes not the improvements i was hoping but obviously uh with these updates there's lots of little things lots of little bug fixes go on in the background or little improvements which you don't see so i've just had a look online at the more thorough notes on this latest software upgrade and for older model s's like this there's not really uh much of a, a an improvement or benefit as it were with this new version but one thing that it did say is uh, pre-2021 Model S and Model X vehicles, there's some various charging options which weren't available while charging. So you can now adjust the charge current and make adjustments to the scheduling um, departure or schedule charging options. So what I'm going to do is um, reverse it round and stick it on the charger at work here and uh, see what's changed. So I've plugged the vehicle in and uh, yeah, absolutely no difference. It's a shame that um, we have lost these graphics on version 11. Uh, from what I understand, it is only these older cars that have the MCU2 upgrade. Other cars still retain all the graphics. But what they've done is put it up here in the um, instrument cluster. Um, so yeah, overall, can't really see any difference with this software upgrade so uh, don't get too excited about it if you've got an older Model S. doesn't seem to um, make any significant changes at all. And I thought I'd just check the app here as well and um, it doesn't seem to be any different either. You still had the adjustment there that you could adjust the charge limit when it was charging. Uh, so yeah, no changes there either. So a bit of a non-event on this video. Uh, obviously this latest update is going to have more of an effect on newer cars and uh, Model 3s. So that will do for this one. Um, if you've liked the video, please do click the thumbs up because that really does help. And uh, 
I know people don't like saying dirty cars on videos, but I've only just washed this car. I've probably only done 50 miles, and you can't even see the number plate on the back. The uh, roads are so dirty around here, it's just impossible to keep your car clean. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one.